lifetime achievement. Lifetime achievement. Sounds so grand. I suppose I, you know, I'm still alive, so uh, by that measure, I'm eligible. But honestly, any achievement that, um, that, that I've uh, succeeded in is the result of my mantra, which is basically, be on time and don't be an ass. <laughs> thank you, thank you, SAG, so much for this. I hate to say the word SAG at my age. It's, uh, <laughs> You know, it's always S-A-G for me. <laughs> I'm simultaneously enormously proud, and yet I'm driven. I'm, I'm, I'm riven with the understanding that I absolutely do not deserve this. And there, there is the conflict that I believe you all understand. Insecurity versus ego. Hmm? That cocktail that I believe most actors sip of an evening as they contemplate the wonderful gift they received the moment they decided to become an actor. So, so anyway, I've been angsting about what to say tonight. Um, I waited for inspiration, and then it came. It came to me. To all those people with whom I have shared my professional life, the actors. I will talk about actors. Oh my God, what a brilliant idea. So original. I mean, I like to think inside the box. <laughs> so, of course, of course, we know it takes a myriad of talented people to make a drama. In fact, four of them are sitting at my table. A writer, two directors, and an agent. And I thank them for their participation in my life. But now it is the actors I address. From following my dream of... Um, of following in the footsteps of Eleanor Duza, through the inspiration of Anna Magnani, Monica Vitti, and on to Winslet, Riley, B. Carter, Coma, Coleman, Cole, and Kirby. And you lot can work that out. <laughs> I joined our tribe of rogues and vagabonds a long time ago, and it is you, you actors, that I want to thank for your wit and your humor, all the giggles, all the laughter. I've laughed my whole life, honestly. Your perception, your emotional generosity, your great intelligence, and your incredible energy, and your helpless dedication to our chosen profession. You know, I get really peed off when I read or hear about actors being maligned as a group. It's so easy, isn't it? That lazy and false assumption of vanity when in my experience, which by now is considerable, the opposite of, is true. We love and admire each other's work. Together we laugh, we weep, we worry, we change clothes, we throw up and we suffer diarrhea. <laughs> Don't you? I mean, I do. Ugh. A few years ago, I had the fearsome and wonderful challenge of performing Phaedra at the ancient Greek theater at Epidaurus, seats like 4,000 or something. And standing in that 2,000-year-old space, I felt the ghosts of all those ancient Greeks and vagabonds. I felt their fear, I felt their sweat, their elation, and I felt at one with them, actors. I'm sorry, you're a magnificent tribe, stretching across culture, history, and time. This is for the actors. Thank you. <laughs>